everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I had school with the kids. It was a half day of school so there was not a lot that they had to do but there was some that they had to finish up. They had to get everything done because I believe it's going to be collected, the paperwork part. I don't know when it's going to be collected. But Tomorrow maybe? I don't know. I don't know exactly. But they had to have everything that was on the computer done and so they got it done. It was a real struggle because they really didn't want to do it. But it was a real struggle. And I also was thinking about, these are things I was thinking about. So this video, I guess, is about what was I thinking today? <laughs> <laughs> or checking out? Trying to figure mm -hmm. out? Well, I was thinking about how the please and thank you has sort of disappeared. Well, it has disappeared because kids don't say please and they don't say thank you and they don't say hello and they don't say goodbye like they should. And a lot of manners are going vanished. They're being van they're vanishing. And are you putting things off was another thing that I was thinking about. So that was another, like, <laughs> are you putting things off? Like I'm putting off all the time, straightening out. Today I tried dusting and I knocked over a candle and had to move another thing to get the candle. It was like, that's why I don't like moving things or, or that's why I put it off. Because if I do something, it seems like I'm making more of a mess. You know, you make a bigger mess before you make the mess go away. Then I was also looking up um, phrases that people use, the acronyms, such as, um, like... J K or L O L <laughs> and a J the J K means just kidding. Well, I'm not just kidding, but that's what it means. <laughs> and laugh out loud, L O L, and the um, D M direct message me. You know, like things like that. People are not spelling anymore now. They're just using these letters. And when my kids, <laughs> I had to actually say, well, what does that mean? And so then they had to write it out because I don't know what all these are, but there's a lot of them. The there's letter C, and the letter U, and the see L, you T, later. R. And something. See you later. Yeah. In case I miss you. <clears throat> In case I miss you, and um, I see why. Wait a minute. In case I miss it. In, and I, in case I miss it. In case you miss it. In case you miss it. You can put the I C Y M I. <laughs> I would like to say just in case you miss it, I'd write it out. That's like the texting on the phones instead of calling on the phone. I prefer the calling on the phone. Um, also, I was thinking about words that people say, and I remember when I had the girls from Austria, and I said, "You go ahead. I have to monkey with this." And they thought, "Monkey." A monkey? A monkey's an animal. What are you monkeying? And I said, oh, never mind. I have to fix this. And then I used words that, because it was my door. The latch on the door would get stuck, and you couldn't shut the door on the van, and so I had to push a lever of some sort or get my hands all greasy and, and <laughs> fix it. But, like, holy cow. Like, cows are? Yes, in India, the cows are holy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um... A lot of people I hear them say, good Lord willing, if the creeks don't rise, they'll say that. Um, my stars, I say that. And um, sugar, I say that. Oh, sugar. And my kids are always saying dang. And I don't want them to say dang. But they do. And oh my goodness, and wow, and no way, and really? And those things that people say that are always being said, that kind of stuff is what I was thinking about today. Aren't you lucky you're not in my brain? <laughs> <laughs> I would be shuffling you all over the place. That makes me think of shuffling. <laughs> there was an old guy in the nursing home, and he couldn't think of something, and he said, let me just give a shake. Maybe I've turned the page, and now I can remember, because whatever it was, it wasn't. And he goes, wait a minute, it's not on that page either. I went the wrong way, and so he'd shuffle back, and then shuffle again, and then he'd find the answer of whatever he was looking for. And there was another guy that used to, he had, he wanted me to memorize this, so I memorized it. What good it does me? No good, but it was, it, 
I've used it a few times where, I don't know, I was just talking, just plain old talking. So I'll say it to you and see if you can memorize it. I will say it and then I will let you practice. So I took my gal to the dance last night. It was a social hop. We danced until the people left and the music had to stop. I took her to a restaurant, it was the finest on the street. She said she wasn't hungry, but this is what she'd eat. A plate of slaw, a chicken, a turkey and a roast, some applesauce asparagus, and two soft-shelled crabs on toast. Well, I thought I'd die when she asked for pie, because I had but 50 cents. Can you imagine taking a girl out and usually <laughs> they're not hungry or they don't eat they might have a salad but no mm -hmm. she ordered everything it makes me think of um this movie i watched where the girl thought she was dying i can't think of what it was called um it was a really good movie i'll have to look it up and try to put it in somewhere mm -hmm. on another day not today because i'm not going to take the time to go downstairs i'm going to put it off <laughs> <laughs> Like in my thoughts, are you putting things off? I'm going to put that off. I'm not going to go, look, I have to go to the basement, and I don't want to go to the basement. And I think it was called The Last Holiday. So you could probably look that up and see if it, maybe that's it. I don't know. It's where the girl thought she was dying, and she wasn't dying, and she was spending all her money, and the, she bought everything on the menu. And that was, it was a good movie. It really was a good movie. Um, okay, that's, I guess it. I have to go put Mr. Brown to bed. He's still up. And he laid another egg, so I think it's because he gets all the extra daylight in the room, the artificial lighting he's getting. He oh. lays me an egg every day, and he's been making a lot of noises and talking to me a lot, and I go in there, and he wants to hop up on my lap, and so he's making a lot of, a lot of commotion just to say, hey, 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 come in here. I'm calling you. Come back. Where my rooster will do the lot of crowing where my Mr. Brown does a lot of clucking and a lot of squawk, squawking. And I think I do. Jane asked me if I had another rooster. Jane, I think I do have another rooster, but it hasn't crowed. And um, because it's walking very strutty, very strut, he's strutting. And he's very getting very tall compared to the rest of them, but he won't be lasting. And my daughter said that somebody asked her if I wanted another rooster. And she goes, rooster? No, she doesn't want any roosters. She'll take mm -hmm. hens, but she doesn't want any roosters. I don't even want any more hens. I've got enough. I've got a plenty. I've got plenty of hens. <laughs> Instead, i got plenty of nothing. And hens are plenty for me. Nothing's plenty for me. Whatever. I don't know. Well, that's it. I'm done. Goodbye.